everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a wonderful day in today's video i am decorating the monthly spread in my vertical layout um for the month of june my vertical layout is the only layout since it's my catch-all planner that i decorate the monthly layout um or the monthly calendar so for this spread i have not I've had this book since it came out, and I haven't even used it. It is the newest seasonal mega sticker book. Um, so I'm going to use the summer section in here. I have, I, I pulled out the word summer from the Mambi sticks. And so I'm going to, I'm going to use that. I've got Father's Day and the first day of summer sticker. I could not... I only found one sticker for Juneteenth, which I'm going to save it for that week. And I only found like maybe one sticker for Pride Day. And I'm going to save it for that week for um, a spread for that week. So I guess I'll just, for those holidays, I'll just put a box down and, and like write it or something. I've got four birthday stickers um, pulled out for some birthdays this month. And then I've got these little icons. I might either use the balloons or the little cakes for that um but anyway so yeah that is what i'm gonna do i have a list of bills and birthdays here that i need to put down but other than that i'm gonna pull these pages off okay right away i know that i want to put summer up the sidebar I did that once before, but it wasn't in my monthly. It was in a, it was in a, like a weekly spread last year. I think it was for the first week of summer that I did that. And I liked how it came out. So I'm gonna do that here. Got that down. Now there's a little bit of space up there, so maybe put like a little icon or something up at the top. All right, so we got these little flowers. These are cute. Just lay a couple of these down. Oops. I kind of want to put like since I got these little these little flowers up here. I kind of want to put other icons across the top, but I think I'm going to hold off on that. I need to get my all my boxes down first. So let me do that. So in this sticker book, there are these little small boxes. There are a bunch of boxes cut out for the monthly calendar, which is awesome because... I need that. Um, that's one of the reasons why I chose to use this sticker book. So anyway, all right, let me get my bills and birthdays down. So we got one on the first. I think I'm just going to use, since it's only one bill, just use this small little box here. I'm not going to lay it all the way down just in case I want to lift it up. Okay, we've got one on the fourth. I'm gonna use some gold too. And there's one on the fifth also. Okay, the seventh. The eighth is BFF day, which is also my friend, my, my BFF's birthday, actually. It's crazy how that happens. Like BFF day falls on her birthday. Um, okay. So I'm going to go back to, there was a page with some stickers on it that had these little sunglasses on it. 
that's what I'm going to use for her birthday. So I'll say that there. Grab one of these birthday stickers that I had pulled out. And I'm going to use one of these balloons. Put it like that. Okay. The ninth, I have a bill. So I'm gonna go back to those small boxes. Um, this one's crooked, let me fix that. All right, the next is the 20th. Oh, we also have 18th is Father's Day. Okay, so I'm going to wipe that out. I have this Father's Day sticker. Let me find a box to put it in. All right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use this monthly cutout box with the little palm tree in it. And let's put Father's Day right there. 19th is Juneteenth. And since I don't have a, um, a sticker for Juneteenth, I am going to, just write it in a box. So I'm going to try to letter it. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Oh, I messed it up. All right. I'm not going to be able to letter it. I can't letter that small. All right. This is going to have to go in the sticker graveyard. So let's try another one. Uh, what marker can I use or pen can I use? Let's see. I guess I'll just use the paper make player. I could have write that so much better. I'm kind of disappointed in myself on that one. But let's put it down here anyway. Okay, the 20th I have a bill. So let's see. I usually try to layer these, but I'm not for sure how I'm going to decorate it yet. So, all right, here is the first day of summer, and I have this little flag for that. And the 22nd is my cousin's birthday. It just seems like there's something every day this week right here. All right, so I'm going to go back to one of these. Let's do a gold one. I think I'm going to turn it this way this time. Okay. I have another birthday sticker. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna use another one of these balloons, these little balloons. The 25th, finally, no more on that week. The 25th is my uncle's birthday, which is my cousin's dad. So let's see, what color? I don't, I don't have one of this color on this page. I'm gonna turn it back this way. Birthday sticker. And another balloon. I think last month I used the little birthday cakes. But this month I want to use the balloons. Okay, and then... The 26th is another birthday. I'm gonna turn it the same direction, but I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. That way it's not right beside of it. The 26th is the last birthday. It's another one of my best friends. And then the 28th, I have a bill and is also Pride Day. So I'm going to write all that out. I'm gonna take another one of these um, size stickers. And since Pride Day is smaller than Juneteenth, I might be able to letter it. Let's see, man. I just need to practice my lettering more. I don't, I'm not very satisfied with that at all, but I'm not going to move it because I've already got it down and it's just, I don't know why that. I'm not going to move it, but still yet I need to practice my lettering. Okay. I also, I also have that bill. I need to put sticker down for okay that is everything that I need boxes for for the month now there are some palm trees in here I want to put one right here on the corner okay I'm glad I found this one it's there's some going with it going like this direction but then I found this one that's going this direction, which is good because that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna put that there. Now I think I wanna put this, wait a minute. Let me find a quote. All right, I like this, chase the sunset. But I think I'm going to white out and you know, I didn't even pay attention to the line going through that palm tree, which now I kind of wish I would have. But anyway, and I think I'm gonna put this umbrella. This says, bring on the summer fun. I put that right there. And this says summer state of mind. Put that right there. Oh, I like this quote. It says sunshine and good times. That's good. I put that right here. And let's put this pineapple next to it. Whoops. Ah, I can't get it to go down where I want. There we go. All right. I really want to put this flamingo down somewhere. Where can I put him? Like if I 
put it here, it'll be like underneath that pineapple, which is a little much. <laughs> and I don't know what my dog is barking at now. I could put it here and move this, which that's, I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, there, there was too much orange. Like this is orange and this is orange and it was kind of kind of close together. Now I know I'm putting a pink flamingo over top of pink box, which I mean, it's gonna frustrate me, but oh well. So let's put his foot right there on top of the box. There we go. Now, I think I'm gonna put this down here at the bottom. I like this big quote that says, Sweet Summer. Put it right here. Oh yeah, and then put this ice cream cone next to it. I've got a leaf here. Hmm. See, if I put it here, it's going to be right over top of that. Uh, you know, palm tree. Oops. I could put it here. and layer that box. Like lift up the corner of this box right here. All right, I accidentally ripped the box. So I had to get another one. But I'm gonna layer it like that. Wait a minute. Straighter this time. It was crooked. So, I don't know why it's so hard for me to get these straight sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna pull out this page and just start grabbing them. We got another pineapple here. Mm. I don't know about the pineapple. I've already got one on this page, but I don't really, I mean, I. If I put it here with this cluster, it looks a little clustered, but oh well. I got some sunglasses. I think um, since I've got them throughout the spread all over the place, I think I'm going to use the sunglasses to put up at the top. We've got an ice cream. I guess I could put it down here. Flip flops. You know what? I'm just gonna put some up here at the top. Um, we got a bunch of these little like stars. I could put these in random places. rip this one. Come on. Oh. 
And these little stars aren't easy to get out. That's the second one I ripped and I couldn't save that one. Okay, I've got that one. Where can I lay a green one? Mm. Nope, that one's a little close to that one. Put that one there. Okay, here's a blue one. Yellow. There's a lot of yellow on this page. Let's put that one up there. These little things really are not easy to get out at all. I'm just putting them in random places though, just to, man, I just ripped that one too. All right, I'm giving up on those little stars. We got more of these flowers. We got a sun here. Where can I put the sun? It's orange, so I don't wanna put it next to a, a bunch of other orange things. Okay, I'll just put it right there. We got another sun. It's really small. And it's blue. Put it right there. We got more flip-flops. I got that pair right there, so I think uh, I, I kind of want to put this pair. Well, I could. No, I'll just put them right there. All right, I had to take a phone call, but anyway, so I think I'm gonna start putting some of these flowers down now like I have over here so I mean I'm starting to feel like it's getting overcrowded here if I put a blue one down it's going to be near that blue and there's really I mean I don't want to put it down here all right we'll skip the blue one I put some of these now we got a pink one And a yellow one. And this like corally reddish, orangish color. Mm. And maybe add a green one over here. Okay, I think that might be all I can do. Let me let me rub the air bubbles out of all the stuff I just laid down. I would like to add like a bathing suit because I, I feel like some like this spot maybe over here is a little empty. Put that bathing suit there. And there's a beach ball. I wish this beach ball was a little bit smaller though. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's getting a lot there though. <laughs> like there's a lot of stuff on this, on these pages.
I think I'm gonna have to call it here though. This is really getting to be a whole lot of stuff. So anyway, this is my monthly calendar for the month of June in my catch-all happy planner, which is my vertical layout. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're not currently following me on Instagram, there's a link to my Instagram in the description of the video. Please head over there and give me a follow. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.